What's good, y'all? Today I'm gonna show you how to play I'm Gonna Be Somebody by Travis Tritt. I'm gonna show y'all with and without a pick. Chords you're gonna need is a G, C, D, F sharp over D. Just put your thumb over the top of the neck on the second fret six string. E minor seven, zero two two zero three three. Um, I think that's it. If another one comes up, I'll let you know. But um, let me show you the intro first. So your um, intro is kind of like the chorus. Starts on the G, C, D, G, C, D, C. So um, I'm going to give you a couple options for this intro. You can do it like I was just doing on the G, 6, 6, down, down, up. Or you can just go down, 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 up. Hold on. Yeah. So you can hit that bass note or you can just go down, 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 up. All right, the C, same thing but the fifth string. D, same thing but the fourth string. But the first time you're gonna go. Hold on. Actually just do it two times on that D the first time. Then you're going to go back to G, C, D, and then right before the song, or the first verse, go to C. You just do it down strong. Alright, so your intro all together is this, G, C, show you a um, finger style pattern real quick so if you want to do it finger style your thumbs gonna get the sixth fifth and fourth string first finger three middle two and ring one on the G you're gonna go six three four two six three four three C same thing but the fifth string the D um, whenever I do D chords, most of the time I move my first finger to the second string and middle first, and my thumb is getting all the way down to the um, third string. Um, and on the D, four, two, three, one, four, two, three, two. All right. So you can do that pattern through the whole song if you want. So your intro finger style will be like this. do it finger style you can do it like that through the um, verses and chorus and everything I just want to show you all that real quick but um after that intro your, court, your verse starts on the G let me refresh my memory real quick So your verses is G, D, C, D, G, D, C, D, G. Hold on one second. I think I just made
の人。So I, I was kind of right, but um, let me start over. So your verses is G, D, C, D, G, D, C, D, G, D, C, D, C, D, G, D. Do that one more time before your chorus. All right, G. twice before your chorus. Your chorus starts on the G. It's similar to the intro. Let me refresh my memory. Hold up. So your chorus goes G. stuff gets confusing. So your chorus is G. Third time around, I'm going to give you a couple options right here because it's a weird chord. Um, so the third time around on this D chord in the chorus, after that, you're going to split it in half. Instead of staying on it like you, two measures like you were earlier, you're going to hit a D sharp chord if you can, but it's kind of impossible in my opinion. But um, So right here, you can either just slide that D um, that D chord up one fret and just strum that. Dang it. All right, like. All right, so you can do that, or you can hit the first fret of the fourth string. Okay. All right, so it'll be like. All right, then right before you um, you bet. You're gonna go to a C after you do that. Bet your hard-earned dollar I will. Hard-earned dollar. Um, 
but anyway, you got those options. So if you're hitting the bass note, you might want to hit that first fret of the fourth string. But if you're strumming it, just slide that D chord up one fret. All right. Before you go to C, get your hard earned dollar. I will. All right. So it'll be C D G at the end of the chorus. All right. So your chorus all the way through is this. So the chorus ends on a D, actually. F All right, then you'll go C. Bet your hard-earned dollar I will. So it'll end right there on that D before you go into um, another, like, like you did in the intro. Just Let me just do it for you. Hold up. So at the end of the first chorus, um, before your second verse, you're going to go G, C, D, C, all right, before your next verse. It's just like the first verse. The only other thing you need to know is there's a bridge. Let me find it and refresh my memory on it. So after your second chorus, there's going to be this bridge, and what you're going to do, um, you'll be on a G chord. You'll see what I'm talking about when you're playing with it, but you're going to be on a G. Um, at the end of your second chorus, then you're going to go to a C. A chorus actually, um, but you're gonna go G, C, D, C. Alright, then right here you're gonna go G, F sharp over D, E minor 7, D, C, D. Alright, so let me do it with it so it makes more sense, a little more sense and just call out the chords for you. Hold up. All right, here we go. It's gonna start on a C.
right here, G. C. I don't know. That didn't sound right. Oh, I was wrong. All right, so after you do that, let me just back up and do it over for you because I messed up, man. to your last chord and you already know how to do that but anyway that is and was i'm gonna be somebody if i confused y'all or lost you let me know till next time go